Hello, how do you implement the acceptance rejection method? How does it work in detail? We already have the rough idea of what is happening, but how do you actually cut out a distribution? That's what I'm going to explain in this video. Let's say we have this graph with a function that describes our target distribution. We call this function fx. Then first let's get some facts clear. Um, let's keep in mind that the maximum value of fx on the y-axis is 10 and the maximum value on the x-axis is 5. The minimum value on the x-axis is 0. And we also keep in mind that the surface area below this function is 1. Okay, here's the algorithm. First within the picture. What you do first is you create a random number between 0 and 5. Let's say Let's say this is a random number, first random number, maybe maybe 3.5. And then we create a second random number, this time between 10 and 0. And let's say this is a random number. And then we check where does the random number lie in our graph. And we figure out, whoa, 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 the random number is here. It's above the curve. It's above the function fx. So we reject it. Reject means that we discard it and we just try again. Again, we create a random number between 0 and 5. Maybe 4 or something like that. And then again, we create a random number between 0 and 10. This time maybe here, a little bit lower. And again, we check and we figure out, oh, no, again, that's outside of our scope. That's outside the fx function. So we reject it again. So we discard it and try again. Again, we create a random number between 0 and 5 here's a good place so let's create a random number here that's a random number and again we create a random number between 0 and 10 let's say let's say this time is here and then we check and ah okay this time we are below the function we we inside or let's say inside the function or the function's surface area that means this time we accept it what do we actually accept we accept this value this is just different value this is the this is the value that we return. Imagine if you have a function, imagine you have a function my random, and this function will create random numbers with this distribution, then the accept, this thing what's get accepted, that's what is returned here. For example, in this case, maybe that's one. So maybe one is returned over here. So what's happening in the acceptance rejection method is that we have two random numbers. The first random number is here on the x-axis that tells us that th that's a number that we would return if we return it. And the second random number is here. It's like the control number that tells us whether we return it or whether we reject it. Let's remove that. That is the pictured version of the acceptance rejection method. And now I'm going to write some code here on the right side, which hopefully clarifies the last doubts. Okay, we first have a random number. Let's call it random x that is on the x-axis. And this random number is between 0 and 5. Of course, keep in mind that the 0 and 5 comes from the fx function. So in case this fx function, so for that in case this function actually goes like this, maybe until 8, then this should be an 8. And then we create another random number. I call it random y because it's on the y-axis and this time is between 0 and 10. Same thing over here, in in case the maximum y, val y value of our fx function is here, so this doesn't exist. Let's say, let's say 7, then of course this would be a 7 as well. Okay, and then we just make an if statement. If a random y is less or equal of the value that's from the function fx with the parameter per parameter f or random x, if that's true, then we... Let's keep it in black. We return random x and l. We reject it. That means we do nothing and just go back to the beginning and start all over again. Just to make this clear, this is the acceptance block, 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 the acceptance block. And here in the bottom, we have the rejection block. And what is this? This could be the definition of this my random function. This could be the definition. That's it. Any comments, questions in the section below and make sure to read the video description on any updates of this video.